Hello everyone, I'm Mustafa and this is Machine Learning Essential Training. In the previous lecture, we looked at the support vector machine method. In this lecture, we're going to look more deeper on it with the kernel trick. Now, look at this example. So we have to think outside the box. One way of thinking outside the box is drawing this line here. Or maybe we have to think outside the plane. If we found a way to lift the green point up, we can easily separate them by a plane. So, what do you think is better? The curve on the left or the plane on the right? Actually, these methods are the same. Don't get confused. We're going to explore each one more deeper. Let's go first with the curve. And let's put some coordinates on each point. We have this point 0, 3, this one 1, 2, the other green point 2, 1, and the last red point 3, 0. Okay, time for a quiz. Which equation could come to our rescue in your opinion? x plus y, the product x times y or x square. This is not an easy question, so let's dive in into, into more details. We can draw a table with the four points on the top row and the result of each function on the for the first one x plus y we have for the first point 0 plus 3 is 3 for the second one 1 plus 2 is 3 and for the third one 2 plus 1 is 3 and for the last one the red point 3 plus 0 is 3 with the second equation the product for the first point we have 0 and for the second one 2 times 1 is 2 for the third one 2 times 1 is 2 for the last one 3 times 0 is 0 for the last equation x square the first coordinate square 0 square is 0 1 square is 1 2 square is 4 3 square is 9 so if we look at the results of each equation for the first one, it gives us 3 for all points. On the other hand, x squared gives us 0, 1, 4, and 9. But if you look at the product, x times y, it gives us 0 for the red points and 2 for the green points. So that's what we were looking for. An equation that gives us big values to the green points and smaller values for the red points or vice versa. So we're going to use this equation. That was the right answer. Now let's put the results on the graph. You can see that for the red points we got 0 for each one and for, for the green points we got x times y equals 2 and what separates 0 and 2 is 1 and what is x times y equals 1 is exactly y equals 1 over x, which is the equation of hyperbola that you can see here. We can use the same function x times y to put the points on another plane. So for a 3D representation we can use the coordinates x comma y comma x times y. In this case the coordinate of the first point 0 comma 3 will become 0 3, 0. And the point will be here. For the second point, the first green point, the coordinates will be 1, 2, 2. And it will move up. For the third point, the coordinates will be 2, 1, and it will also move up. The last point, 3, 0, will have the coordinates 3, 0, 0, and it will be here. 
Now you can see that we have separated our points with a plane. And this is exactly the kernel trick. You can think of it as a surgeon who is looking to separate apples from oranges. And she got an idea. She moved the apples up and she nicely cut the data in two.